Good morning, grade three. How are you today? Today we have another new lesson. How do scientists communicate? Today is Wednesday, 8 April 2020. All of you open pages 315, 316. Lesson objectives. To conduct an investigation, gather information, and communicate the results of the investigation to others. Communication. The first one is communication. Look here at the pictures here. Here we have the scientists. They did an experiment. They make their experiment and they compare, they communicate, compare their result and discuss their results. What is the meaning of communication? Is an important part of science investigation. Scientists communicate with each other. Why they communicate? Why do the scientists communicate with each other? To share what they learn. The, they question and check each other's work. One way scientists scientists that check each other's work is to replicate or repeat an experiment. A good experiment can be repeat, repeated for this reason. So a good experiment can be repeated. So here we have a scientist, they are communicating, they discuss their result and they repeat their experiments. Here, look at the picture here. The scientist in this picture investigate the algae here are the algae okay a group of living things usually found in water what kinds what kind of records do you think scientists are keeping who can give me the answer okay the scientists might be drawing a map of where algae are found Plan an experiment. When you plan an experiment, you write a procedure. What is the meaning of a procedure? Procedure is a plan for testing a hypothesis. Again, what is the meaning of procedure? Define the word procedure. Is a plan for testing a hypothesis. Procedure describes the materials you will use and the steps you will follow. As you plan an experiment, think about the question you are trying to answer and figure out what you know and what you want to find out. This is a procedure. Describe exactly how an experiment is done. First question, what material is best for keeping heat in water? Hypothesis, if I rub a jar in a fake fair, then it will keep the water warm the longest. Material, one jar covered in a fake fair, one jar covered in a brown paper, one jar covered in a blue paper. Warm water, three thermometers, plastic wrap, and three rubbers band clock. Now the procedure. We label the jars A, B, C. Add the therm a thermometer to each jar and fill each jar with the same amount of warm water. Now quickly cover the jars with plastic wrap and rubber bands. Measure the starting temperature in degrees Celsius. Measure and record how many minutes it takes for the temperature to change in each jar. Empty the jars, repeat two, step two through six. 
Now, who can read question number two and answer it? Identify. Look at the procedure. Circle the units that were used to make measurements. The units is degree Celsius and minutes. All of you circle it. Who can read for us question number three? Analyze. The person who wrote this procedure knew that warm water loses heat over time. What was the, pers the person trying to find out? How will different materials keep heat in water? Number four, who can read it for us? Okay. What words could be added to help describe the procedure? What is it the answer? Who can tell me? I want another one. Okay, I could suggest that temperatures are record in step five. The temperatures can record in step number five. Thank you, my dear students, and we will complete our lesson next week, inshallah.